Hello everyone and welcome back to Freedom Planet. Today we're going on to Pangu Lagoon. I'm, I may have mangled the pronunciation a little bit. I don't know. So this is a stage for lilac only. And it's got a pretty interesting little thing in it. There are these blue, blue rings, which when you pass through them, it will recharge your action bar completely and give you the ability to use two dragon boosts in a row. And there's one now. So you can see the first dragon boost after you grab one is different, and then that does not consume your action bar and will allow you to use a, another dragon booster. Well, actually, it does consume it, but it refills it instantly. So, this was actually the first attempt I made on this level today. And I actually beat my previous best time, which is something I've been trying to do. And I don't know how I did it on my first attempt. Uh, this level is pretty tough. It was actually the last level I got the achievement on, if I remember correctly. And the achievement time is 8 minutes, if you don't know how to read. I always put the achievement times in the description, but nobody reads descriptions, right? <laughs> Well, I'm sure some people do. I do, if I want more information about the video. It's always the first place I look. So I like uh, riding the arrows. It's funny how it just destroys anything. And I mean, even the big armored blue guys that are so hard to kill, uh, the arrow will kill them instantly. It's very satisfying. I don't think I hit one of the blue guys on this recording, though. I actually made a lot of mistakes, so there's definitely a lot of ways to improve this time. And here we got one of each kind of shield. I don't really get the point of that. I mean, I, I guess it's nothing to complain about. So there's actually no uh, mid-boss mid on this level. There's only the final boss, so we're in the second area now. And that was actually a bit of a mistake. Shouldn't have gone over there. I think in this second area, if you could stay on the higher paths, that's better. I'm not sure about that. But it does seem like you always have to go up at the end. And this part's kind of crazy. There are just so many bees. And the game, like, pauses a little bit whenever you hit an enemy. Which is probably a good thing, for the most part. Although I'm not sure if it pauses the timer when that happens. And here I tried to stay on the upper path, but got a little too hasty, and I fell. So that may have cost me some time. And this is why I feel like this path takes longer. You have to wait so long on all these blocks. And again, I don't know if this path is actually longer or not. I think I've heard that uh, these appearing and disappearing blocks are like something that are in Mega Man. I've never actually played a Mega Man game. I need to go pick a couple up someday and try playing them. I had a Sega Genesis growing up, so... Didn't experience 
a lot of Nintendo games until the Nintendo 64. Just not finding too much to talk about here, am I? Uh, I was gonna say it's early in the morning for me, but uh, I woke up at noon and it's 1.30, so I can't really say that. And here, this is the door right before the boss, and I always have a lot of trouble with this part. I think it's because I'm holding down X, where you, what you should do is... Just wait until you come out of the first dragon boost here, and then do the second one. I guess there's a bit of upward momentum after the first one ends. It's probably why I wasn't getting enough height. So this boss... ...is pretty crazy. A bit annoying. Yeah. That would be a terrifying sight. So the dragon boost is very helpful here. You want to boost in the same direction as the dragon itself. Whenever it does its hyper beam attack, just dragon boost up into the air at the last moment to avoid it. Another thing I forgot to mention is when you have the the blue rings, uh, you can your regular B button attack actually launches that little boomerang like projectile, which is kind of useful here, I think. And with the fireballs, you just drag and boost. And keep running as fast as you can. Kind of try to keep track of where you are, because if you're up against one of those walls when you are when you get hit by the fireballs, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to avoid them. You want to keep going in one direction. Okay, and you saw the dragon's eye was flashing yellow. That means that we need to attack the eye to finish him off. I often uh, do it when he's charging up the beam attack. That, that usually works pretty well, because he's not moving too much. And what do you know? It wasn't a dragon after all. It was just a little robot. That robot looks just like Syntax, but it's not Syntax. If you want to find out more about it, go play the adventure mode. Alright, so I beat my previous best time by, uh, uh, I think about 30 seconds. So, as always, don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, you can do that if you want to, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.